see a, a couple of uh, older people here. I, I'm very, you know, I envy the older generation because you guys lived in a golden era of music. You guys had good music. And music is so good, you can be in your late years, you know, your 70s and 80s, and you'll be singing it. It doesn't look strange. You know, because you guys have no songs like a uh, I Beautiful song, man. You can be 70 and still be grooving to that thing, man. But my generation, man, I've, I fear for the kind of songs we'll be listening to in our 70s, man. Because you'll be 70, your grandchildren come and visit you that Ride on Mokugo, ride on, ride on Mokugo. Ride on Mokugo, ride on, ride on Mokugo. If you say what your hot kick, what 90 H, let's say what your hot kick, but if you say what your hot kick. Even your grandchildren be like, yeah, granddad, you are really a hot kick. I, I can tell from the way you are walking, you know. And it's beautiful, but and even the way we speak, man, my generation, we speak strange, you know. I don't remember the last time I used the word no. You know, first, no used to be a word. You ask somebody, hey, are you going to the party? You'd be like, no. But these everyone is like, nah. <laughs> Do you like that chick? Nah. <laughs> and it's strange, man, because we are going to be the future leaders of this country. We say nah. And if we say nah, I only imagine what our grandchildren will be saying. <laughs> they'll probably come up with a new word. Like, instead of no, they'll be like, boo. <laughs> Junior, have you done your homework? Boom! <laughs> Tomorrow we are going to the veterinary. <laughs> because I think you have rabies, you know. Now, I was raised by uh, my, my grandfather, because my mother had me when she was 15. Yeah, I know, that was very early, you know. And um, yeah, I was raised by my grandfather. My grandfather was very interesting, because, you know, we had a... I had a great upbringing, really. My grandfather was that. If you ever have a grandfather who will give you a slap up about anything, you know, very quick too, man. And you won't see the hand until you start crying. <laughs> Sometimes I didn't even know he had slapped me until I started crying. <laughs> he said, I'm not going to clean the... <laughs> Granddaddy, have you slapped me yet? <laughs> and my grandfather, man, very funny guy, man. We'll be in Tadi. Well, he liked boxing, right? He likes boxing. He's not dead, you know. He will be in Tadi watching boxing. They'll be fighting in Las Vegas, man. And this guy will be in a chair dodging the punches. <laughs> Strange, man. That's right. That's right. He said, Granddaddy, sit your ass down before you get a heart attack, man. I actually didn't say that to him. I was thinking it, you know. Slap me some other moment. Man. But yeah, like David said, it is true. I, I lived in Malaysia and Singapore for like five years. Um, I was studying there. And um, it's, it's good, you know, I've been back and it's good. I have noticed some, some subtle differences between like Ghanaian women and like Asian women, right? For, for example, you go out with an Asian woman and then the bill comes. To, you go to a restaurant, the bill comes, man. They make an effort to pay, you know. They just, you know, try and reach for the purse. Say, oh, let me pitch this. And you'll be like, oh, don't worry, baby. I brought you here. I'll pay for this thing. Ghanaian women, you go out with them. When the bell comes, that's when they want to go and pee. <laughs> In fact, they will pee until you pay the bell. <laughs> I went out with one girl the other time. She peed for 45 minutes. <laughs> I said, maybe this girl has diabetes. I don't, uh, or maybe jaundice. I don't, you know. Another thing I noticed that like Asian women don't like to have ass, right? You tell an Asian girl they have ass, they get very offended. I, I beg your pardon. I don't have any ass. This is just pork, you know. <laughs> but Ghanaian women they like ass. You know, if you if you tell a Ghanaian girl she has a fat ass, they turn into Akuma Mama Zimbi. They got it, man, they got it, they got it. They have it. And I live in Accra, man. And the girl women they like the ass, man. I heard some of them go to the, inject, uh, the hospitals and get, you know, bath injections, man. They said there's this medicine called Molopo. Now, I know the name doesn't sound fancy, but I heard that thing really works. If you're a woman with a flat ass and they inject that thing into your ass, your ass grows like Chinese economy. That's <laughs> 7% GDP right there, you know. <laughs> 
And even talking to women in Asia is different. Because I used to hang out with this guy, man. His name is Rizal. He, he lived in the US, you know, Miami, and it has a very large Cuban population. So whenever we see a girl going, he just shouts stuff at the girl. Like, hey, yo, mommy, why are you going with that big booty of yours? And some of the women, they like it to say, I'm going to your house, baby. You can't do that in Ghana, right? Because <laughs> our language is cheap. <laughs> I don't imagine any guy here see a girl go be like, nah. Now what to do then? I don't go ever. But you go woofy. Did anybody watch um, Miss, Miss World? The one that, um, it was won by a Filipino, but a Ghanaian came in third. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, was, it was beautiful, man. I watched that thing, man. You know, I had a Miss, uh, I had a, you know, erroneous impression about um, beauty pageants, because I thought it was easy to win. I just thought you just show up and you are beautiful and you win. But it's not that easy. You have to have other qualities too. Qualities like smiling all the time. For no reason at all. <laughs> but this is what I remember. <laughs> I said, and the winner is Miss Philippines. And Miss Philippines will be crying and waving. <laughs> That's how they smile and cry at the same time. <laughs> and Miss Ghana is still smiling. <laughs> uh, Madam, you didn't win. You can stop smiling now, please. I, I, uh, there, there's a lot of um, Chinese people now in Ghana, right? Yeah. Yeah, you have to be careful with those guys, man. They are, they are nice folks, but you know, the way they speak, man, they end up offending you sometimes, you know. I used to hang out with one Chinese guy, man. His name is Chua. And a nice fellow, too, you know. His name is what? Chua. <laughs> Why do you know somebody called Chua? <laughs> Are you called Chua? <laughs> dude, if you're a Ghanaian called Chua, that's messed up, dude. <laughs> but, you know, I, the guy was called Chua. I know it's a funny name, but, dude, that's what the mother wanted to give the kid, you know. <laughs> So he's called Chua, and I used to hang out with him, you know. We went to get something to eat, and then it was late at night. It was around 11.30. So I told him, Chua, I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Now, usually when you tell someone good night, all they do is say good night. But you know what that guy said to me? He said, rest in peace. 